American-made weapons may have ended up in the hands of Hamas terrorists, and House Republicans want assurances from the Pentagon that the U.S. is keeping a close enough watch on its weaponry. House Oversight Committee Chair James Comer and Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene said in a letter to the Biden administration that they have concerns about American weaponry. They cited reports from Ukrainian intelligence officials about American-made weapons that Russia may have captured on the battlefield in Ukraine and then sold to Hamas. Additionally, the Republican lawmakers expressed concerns that weapons left behind in Afghanistan by the Biden administration may have found their way into Gaza. The Taliban has boasted about seizing abandoned weaponry. Comer and Taylor Greene asked for a briefing from the Pentagon by October 30th. Their request comes as President Biden asks Congress for more than $65 billion in aid to Ukraine and Israel. Some Republican lawmakers had already cast doubt on the future of Ukraine aid. They've said there's not enough oversight of the arms and money that the U.S. has already sent. Now, House Republicans want answers about whether American-made weapons played a role in Hamas's attack on Israel, as well as how the Pentagon will be keeping tabs on the next wave of aid. Sarah Bedford for The Washington Examiner.